Unfortunately, we have not finished yet, my friend. We continue. Right, finding an angle. Find an angle, finding an angle. I look at this picture, I can see three numbers. I've got all the sides. I don't need the cosine rule. Cosine rule connects. Three sides and one angle, but the angle is unknown. Right, the pen moves faster than the eye. So once I've done here, I do believe I could move this part over here. 2BC cos A. Let's move that A squared over there. B squared plus C squared take A squared. Well, I don't want those numbers. Let's divide by that. 2BC. 2BC. Oh, they cancel out. It's like they were never there. Of course, but I have to divide this by that as well. Oh, this gives me an angle. And over here, I've got three sides. I don't know if I, I'm not even sure if you can see the bottom of the board down here in the camera. Anyway, that's how this rule is. It's really the same rule. We don't expect you to do this. We'd like you to use the shortcut. Here we have the rule. How do I know when to use the rule? Because I can see three numbers and I'm looking for an angle. So I'm forking for an angle. It still has three sides and one angle. So that still means cosine rule. Again, this would I'd like you to write for this picture. I'd like you to have, first of all, I'd like you to write capital A, little a, capital B, little b, capital C, little c. I can't open your textbooks and do that for you. So now, here's the rule. I'm only going to use the first one. So cos of a equals b squared plus c squared take a squared all over 2bc. Okay, just to explain one last time. You're in charge of putting the labels on. No problem with rearranging the answer at the end. Okay, I'll put the labels on so I can use this rule. Right, so every time you're going to use a rule, unlike the book, I would like you to write the rule so we get to put everything in the right place. B is 8, 8 squared. C is 5, 5 squared. A, or the opposite one, the one that's been subtracted is always opposite, is take 7 squared. Divided by 2 times by... Um, eight times by five. Now, unlike in the book, I also prefer people to, yep, yep, I'm happy to define the angle. We need to go shift cos, that means shift cos, shift cos on different calculators, inverse cos, that's what that symbol means there. I'd like you to work out the top line and the bottom line separately. A squared plus 5 squared takes 7 squared equals 40. The bottom is 2 times 8 times 5 equals 80. I think you're going to have far less problems typing this, what I've got here, into the calculator than typing that into the calculator. Okay, so this is how I would do it. Shift cos bracket 40 divided by 80. I know some people like to use the fraction tool, but you know, that's what this means. 40 divided by 80, answer will be 60 degrees. It's not often that you're gonna get a nice number like 60 degrees. Everybody, everybody can see the degree symbol, can't they? Degree symbol, okay? One last thing to talk about, this BCA means the angle from B to C to A, which doesn't make sense for my new labeling system. That would be from C, A, B, from C to A to B. Okay, so that's finding, a, finding an angle. Again, we can see three sides and one angle helping cosine. Rule.